Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a simple two-player ping pong game. And yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so I already made my sprites and all you guys can copy them. They're pretty simple. And then yeah. Alright, let's get into the code. What you're gonna do for the, your um paddles is one green flag clicked, forever loop. And also go to that position. So go to X and that position is auto gen generated. So go to nest them. Uh, sensing key and since the red is I mean the blue is on the left uh, most likely you're going to be using the arrow keys for that so go to change Y do the change Y by 5 duplicate this switch it to down arrow switch this to negative 5 and there we have it up and running boom alrighty so now what you're going to go is do it go to red same thing Go to this position, uh, grab a forever loop, grab an if-then statement, go to motion, uh, change y by 10, go to sensing, grab a key, and then w, let's find w, where's, there it is, oh, one sec, let me just change that to 5, uh, nope, we do not want to ask what our name is. Duplicate that and then change y by negative 5. Find an S and then let's go. So we have our red and our blue up and running. Now it's for the ball. So what you're going to do, well, let me actually name this ball. I forgot to name it ball. What you're going to do for the ball is when the green flag is clicked, you always want it to go to the center. So go to yeah, that's basically center. All right, yeah, you could just do one one. All right, and then when the green flag is clicked, all of them go to the center. Boom, perfect. Now what you're gonna do is um, go grab a forever loop. Well, no, not you don't have to grab a forever loop for this, but you can uh, either do change y by ten. Oh, my bad, sorry, the x by 10. Uh, so what you're going to do is pick random. Negative 10 to 10. So what it does now, uh, actually, yeah, you're going to do a forever loop for that. So. Nope, okay, I think, oh uh, yeah. Alright, so what it... What it's actually doing is it's just buffering between that. So, what you actually want it to do is negative 10. And then, grab an OR. You're going to get an OR. Uh, go to Motions. Exposition. Actually, I'll just make it a, I'll just do a simpler way. So, um... What you're gonna do is get rid of this, and then the ball will start. Um, it will start like right over here. So how about the the ball will only uh, the ball will just start bouncing off, and yeah, you don't it won't actually be able to go somewhere. It's just gonna start bouncing off randomly. So what you're gonna do now is grab a forever statement, and then change change the x. By 10 and change the yeah the y and the x by 5 so now there you go and then what you're gonna do now is if on edge bounce we'll do this there you go now it's differentiated if on edge bounce Uh, where is that? Uh, okay, so once it bounces on the edge, you're going to go to your operators, pick a random between 90 or negative 90, and then change the x to y by 5. Wait. Okay, it's still buffering over there. So instead, what we're going to do is um, just if on edge bounce, and then... The motion, 
Uh, yeah, so what you're gonna do is once space is clicked, motion go to change y by 10. Oops, forever loop. Bonage bones then. There you go. Okay, my bad, guys. It was actually supposed to be move 10 steps. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. Uh, let's change this to 8 steps. Pretty fast. Okay, so now what you're going to do is then, um, if it is touching, if, well, actually, let's do this on this. Let's do this on this one. If touching ball, then, nope, we actually, never mind, yeah, you have to do it on this one. If, um, you are touching the ball, then, oh, no, not ball, blue. Blue or red, just bounce off. Same thing, and just change that to red. Okay, now let's try it, so the ball's gonna be coming. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, we have to actually change the speed of the paddles. They're a bit slow. So I'm gonna change it to eight now. All right, eight, no, negative eight. All right, let's see how that works. All right, so now what you're gonna do is every time every time it touches one of that, you're gonna have a score for that. So make a variable score for the red one and a score for the blue paddle. So basically, if you bounce off of it, you're just gonna change the, that score by one every time you bounce off of it. So, this is going to be for blue, and then just duplicate that. This is going to be for red. And as you guys can see, it's just auto, it's doing it so fast. So, what you're going to want it to do is also wait one second every time it does that. So, every time it bounces off of them. Yeah, wait one second. And then it will bounce off. All right. So that's basically it. And then we also wanted to set it to zero. Score. Set. Score blue, and score red to zero. All right. One green flag is clicked. So, also what you want it to do is, if it's touching, like, well, actually, yeah, I suppose you don't have to do that. So, yeah, this is basically the game, guys. It's really easy. Okay, never mind. I'm going to actually change this to 0 0.4 seconds, because it's just stopping there, and it's not looking clean, or smooth, I should say. And yeah, so that's basically it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.